And next we have Harem Trash, a lit RPG satire um, written by Ray Nantes. It is 102 pages, 99 cents. It is available on Kindle Unlimited, and here's the author's description. Ibmi Ismi enjoyed his life as an overpowered paladin, try hard, filled to the brim with beautiful women who loved him unconditionally for all the wrong reasons. Like, that's what it says. Everything was going great until he tried to woo the wrong one and was polymorphed into a literal trash can. Starting back at level one, he must find some way to regain his power and hopefully return to his real body. He soon finds that his new life won't be easy and he embarks on a fantastic fantasy adventure that's not so bad. It's good. Terrible. So there you go. That's what the that's the author's novel description. Um, and honestly, there is a harem aspect to the story at the very beginning of the novel. Um, but don't let that dissuade you. I'm honestly... I personally had to push past it because it's not something we were paying. Um, but it's mostly parody um, and it's it's completely finished by the 15% mark, which is like 15 pages into the story, basically. Um, and at that point, the main character, our overpowered hero who had a harem, is polymorphed into this inanimate object, the trash can. Only he, he's a specific kind of trash can with a sentience. Um, he's a recycler and the, he's a special item class entity that can gain experience points level and then the RPG progression paths. Um, and from there on, after that 15% mark, it's actually a very entertaining story but you like i said me personally i i had to push past the harem stuff because it wasn't it's not really my thing and i would recommend if it's not as well but you still want to give this a try just skip right to the 15 percent mark like really that's that's where the the the, i think most of the really good fun rpg progress stuff happens anyways um the biggest draw for the story is definitely going to be its humor like i said the novel is Part of the description is, oh, it's a little RPG parody, and a lot of it is. It makes fun of harem stories, it makes fun of RPG progression, it makes fun of, and, and not in like a mean way, but I'm like, oh, you can give anything in RPG progression, and it can still be kind of be interesting, and it's, and it's kind of true. Like you're you're literally reading about a trash can, who's re, uh, a recycler, who's taking in items and all kinds of weird and odd things, and doing crafting with them uh, for a lot of the story, and it's it, and it's still entertaining. I was still kind of entertained. And interjecting in that is is a lot of humor. Um, it, there's a it's it, it's very adult humor. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. So um, there's definitely some potty humor. There's a, plenty of sex humor, um, but a lot of like other kind of jokes as well. Um, there are no graphic sex scenes in the story, but there are again there is sex jokes and there are adult humor. So just be aware of that. If that's not your thing at all, just don't pick this up. Uh, but if you know you can balance that and you're okay with that, I, I think you might you might find something very entertaining here. Um, there are, again, several, I, I keep him saying this because I know it's going to be a turn off for some people. Um, there are several scenes that just describe like sexuality stuff and fetishes and they're jokes. They really are. Um, but it is still there. Okay. Um, the story again has a lot of interesting things, <laughs> including like, just like this weird crafting experience from a trash can. Um, and it literally, it, um, this is mine really spoiler, but it's kind of a core thing that I thought was super fun and interesting. It's literally just taking a trash and different items and, and, and learns how to break them down and to do different crafting things. And it, and it incorporates that into an actual story where that makes sense and is interesting, but it's still told from that point of view of that trash can character. Uh, and like I said, it's, it's, it's a little weird, um, but it is funny and it's interesting. And I, I liked it. I really did. Um, the end is a little bit forced, um, but it's kind of a minor issue. I thought overall the novel was still entertaining um, outside of that harem opening, which didn't really work for me. But again, it's also a one-time thing that you don't really see through the rest of the story anyway. So it's a very skippable aspect of it. Uh, for me, though, entertaining stuff. It's a short story, so it's not that big of an investment uh, to read. It's like a hundred, over, little over 100 pages. Uh, so for me, I had a good time with it. Gets a score 7.4 out of 10 little like middle of the road like we're good um it's harem trash a lit rpd satire with the score 7.4 out of 10 how do you get with it